inside Where am I? Third second chance You would take my breath and I can't get it back Might be time for me to face the facts The best me is with you But I know I got a lot to prove They think we're too damaged to fix But we're just working through a little rust They like to say we're just young But I now okay it's almost it's almost 5 p.m and isco is still taking his afternoon nap he has slept for a long time he has slept for a really really long time because he was full hey my baby's life love sleeping and eating that baby's just goals and he has allowed me to do this video like he has allowed me to do this video because you know i just wanted the video to be so much flowy and let's just go right to this video. Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new, Karibu Sana. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So today's video is one of those videos that have been so much requested about like the decor inside my kitchen people have been really really requesting to see how i decorated my kitchen on a budget uh i'm beatrice i do home and lifestyle videos here on youtube welcome welcome and i'm, a, I'm also a stay at home mom and this is why i'm i'm here on youtube literally i am at least i am trying to do to find something to do that will be keeping me busy being a stay at home mom you know yeah, welcome to my channel, Karibuni Sana. Subscribe, it is very, very simple. Subscribing is free. You can go ahead and click on that red button and hit that subscribe button. Remember to give this video a like at this beginning of the video. So I'm currently taking my water because I know, because I know this video, we are literally going to talk, talk and talk. Uh, let's just begin with the kitchen tour so that I show you everything and after we are done with this kitchen tour and showing you everything about this kitchen I will definitely um, give you uh, at, at least we will go ahead and do a chit chat because I feel like I miss talking to you guys and that's what I love about YouTube it's just expressing myself and yeah and let's just interacting with you guys and that's what i really 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 appreciate youtube sharing our opinions and also enjoying time and passing time with each one and every one of you that's what i really really like and without further ado let's begin with this house tour by the way guys i did my own braids and i have lasted with them for more than a month it is almost one month and a week or two but i'm not even bored with them i'm not bored with these braids but i just have to remove them and i don't i don't usually give myself pressure so i'll just remove them at my own time so let's begin with this kitchen to a hope hope you'll enjoy this video standing on my corridor standing on my corridor we have this door okay we have a toilet door and a bathroom door here on this corridor but let's just focus on the kitchen we have this uh, gray door entering the kitchen and on this kitchen directly opposite my corridor we have my fridge yeah it's a very 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 big fridge to be honest uh, the freezer of that fridge is so so big and uh, the moment i'll be clean i'll be able to clean it and do everything with it I will definitely show you how my fridge looks like or if you want to see how my fridge looks like you can go on um, my clean and I organize the fridge with me and uh, th that video I'll be linking it down so that you'll be able to see how that fridge is big and uh, it's a double door as you can just see on top there I just tore my kitchen uh, what is it called my egg tray and next to it we have my electric electric what my boy yeah, yeah that <laughs> electric jug i use it to boil water because here in our house we take like boiled water we just let it rest and then when it's cool we just drink water as i am doing currently this is my water here and so uh 
that fridge by the way i bought it uh so so long ago it is um it is very very big and it was affordable also my cooker ah because this cooker is still still new uh, i would just love to review it a little bit it's a 60 by 60 cooker it is uh elect three electric and three gas burner this one is the electric one and also that those three are the electric the the gas burner so whenever this the, there is shortage of gas i can still use the electric and it is rapid rapid hot as you can just tell from there the, the brand of my cooker is sayona i bought it from the company itself i visited the company of sayona not the 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 um the, the branches here in kenya they have branches of sayona equipments here in kenya and i can just tell you for free this cooker is so so beautiful elegant and you can also try buying it if you like it it is black and gray in color i really really enjoy it and i love it so so much it has this one which one is the one is it is glass and i really really love 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 this cooker as you can just tell we use it so so much uh, i i have it for almost one year yeah it's i uh, it's one year it's almost one year it's almost one year I think it's it's 10 months old and it's still looking so so new okay here on my inside inside my cooker i have placed my dish that is a dish that i used to serve food with and then the things that just are random things here on this cooker i love it it is so so beautiful and the and the oven is uh, electric electric oven it doesn't use gas it uses electricity and i can tell you it is so so worth it i invested um uh, i got this cooker at 26 25.999 25k 9999 that is how much in dollars i'll be writing it down i don't know how much was it in dollars but it was 25000 kenyan shilling that is 26000 uh, in dollars that is 260 dollars you can see how much affordable it is yeah but in kenyan money you can also think it is also not affordable because you know 26000 is not just a small amount of money so i'm just uh I'm, i let me show you uh, here down here i use this small gas to you connect to my three burners where i just use it to cook and then just next to my cooker let me stand at a wider angle just next to my cooker i have that small table that i just customized it from my local fundi at 2000 bob and it is so so good because it has a it's giving me a lot of storage down there to add my utensils and these are the random utensils that i use to cook and my pots are down there and basically they are clean i just finished cleaning my kitchen right now and this this is why i am giving you this tour so on top here i have this tissue what is it called kitchen towel i use it to clean my cooker most of the time so it is just next to the cooker so that you know when they whenever there's a spill on the cooker i just cut a little bit and i wipe down on top here guys uh, let, we'll just come back to this because people have been requesting a lot of that's me that's me i'm wearing these indoor shoes and i love them and this rugged trouser yeah and that's me basically so let me take my water first so on this uh, we have this countertop and it is so so big i can tell you because the house i used to live in it had a small countertop and i was really really i used to i used to be angry at it because it was so small and i couldn't manage it so on this countertop it is big I, at least it is not that big but it is just enough uh, yeah, on that we we have this kitchen cutting board and then i have this decorative flower that i just place on it just to decorate my kitchen a little bit we have this um, these two i got flowers at 150 each and they are th there are two yellow and white that is 300 and also this one i got it at around 400 bob. so it was less than 1000 to make this or 700 there and then i got these cups these cups you guys have been requesting me to tell you where i got them from for the new visitors here on my channel this 
cups i got them at kamukunji and they were costing 200 per cup that is 1200 per six cups and then they are so so beautiful as you can just tell already they are golden and white in color and they are so so much decorated and i love 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 them a lot they are so good and then i got them together with this stand this stand was costing 350 at kamukunji and that's what i'm using to hold those cups on and then let's just go back to these plates if you have not watched my kamukunji haul where i got everything in my kitchen from so i got these plates at kamukunji also these plates are luminac they costed me um that is 1350 13 15 kenyan shilling that was 1000 bob 350 kenyan shilling 1400 and in dollars i don't know how much that it is that is in dollars because i just i don't know how much that is in dollars around around 14 dollars uh, yeah around 14 dollars in u.s money you know i know most people who watch me they are in you maju so yeah so that's the thing and then they i i've just put them in this stand this stand i got it at 350 also that is three dollars yeah 3.5 dollars yeah and that's basically how i've arranged this countertop i just love it being decorated with those you know cups my cups and my they act they are two in one because they are deco at the same time they are functional so that those plates i use them at the same time they act like decorative pieces here on top of my countertop on this basket here i have my cleaning towels my wiping towels the ones that i used to to run around here in the kitchen yeah and again you guys you know at least to hang my spoons because putting these spoons in a cup maybe in a mug or maybe storing them anyhow they don't look deco they don't look beautiful so i tend to hang them there they are functional at the same time they are decorative pieces i used i got this thing at 200 bob and then i have just like used some nails to hang those uh pieces yeah and it is looking so so much better from the way you can just place them anyhow so i just decided to place them like that and they are looking good as you can just tell my sink is also clearly it is empty so i'm just done with cleaning my dishes and then unfortunately it's going to ruin our our toothpicks so currently they are there yeah let's go back to this uh you know my storage the first storage here i have my flour sugar rice what what you know those kinds of things my pantry is just there and then on this board here on the on, on this one i have here my my spices mustard my you know everything my mayonnaise my oils my words spices all kinds of different spices they are just there and then on top there i have my extra things here in the kitchen like flour sugar what what my indomie you know some everything that you just have extra i place it there and then let's lock it and then here i just have some random things that didn't have space to be placed like my thermos my jugs my you know everything my bowls the ones that i use in my fridge my storage you know this 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 bakulis i use i use them in the fridge so they are just staying there and currently you know what i do most of the times there in my car in my pantry i usually make it so so much easy for me i usually don't own a lot of things if you know me i don't like owning like so many stuff because when it comes to organizing i'm so poor on it so i usually make an effort like if i don't use something i just let it go if i don't use it for a long time i just let it go because clearly i don't don't love organizing it's just my i'm just putting in a little bit of effort but i usually make it uh easy for me i just don't own a lot of things even i'm just thinking of you know releasing some plastics that i have the things that i don't have there in my in my in my cookware the things that i want to be using i'll just be removing them away because i don't want to have so many things that i'm not using they usually pile up and then 
they make my kitchen like messed up and then I usually end up being lazy in cleaning them because if the cups are too many, I usually end up using, using and using so I don't like that. At least I would rather even have two because I don't like it. I don't just enjoy having a lot of things. That's ne that's just part of my nature because even before I got these cups and plates, I used to operate with like two plates and two cups and I was okay, you guys. I was literally okay and but but I had um I had a uh, like a passion of getting these plates and cups. I used to see them online and then I used to love them so that's why I got them at but it was not like at it, it was a must because me can operate with two plates, two cups and I'm okay because I'll be cleaning them and doing my thing. So basically that's just me and on top here I, do, I usually just like place everything together so that they won't be like everywhere everywhere i don't i don't i don't enjoy my my things everywhere and yeah so let me just show you down here in my in my cupboards on my first cupboard it is literally empty so that you know i don't love owning things it is just empty let me just give you a quick tour of it so down here on my first cupboard just you know we are here and then just beneath my countertop we have these two cupboards and down here i just have i don't have things like literally i don't like owning a lot of things first thing that i use most of the time is this blender and that toaster simply because they don't use it i'll also be giving it away because me i don't love owning things that i don't use so that's currently empty and down there I have that mosquito which I used to, it is an insecticide I used to kill cockroach with and it, it didn't work also so I'll be throwing it away so you can just tell how empty that place is and then just beneath my sink it's on beneath my sink we also have this this shelf that first of all I have my shopping bags i have arranged them in that in this huge shopping bag there i have placed them all my shopping bags like i have folded them that's how neat i want to be nowadays i've folded my shopping bags the things that i just love you know and those papers for throwing dustbins everything is there and then here i usually place my soaps and my extra you know my extra soaps and everything so there i have some and then my candle is also there it's on a guinness bottle and and that's it you guys that is it my also my so soft is there and this one here is jig this is locally made jig that is uh what is it called you know bleach bleach yeah it's bleach and then here i i got this eucalyptus sticks that are for essentials they have the you know you burn them and then they remove a very very good smell we have some safisha steel wool and then safisha nini and that's it and this one here is my omo and this insecticide powder by the way guys let me just bring you close to this insecticide powder it really really works a great miracle if you are looking for something to kill your cockroaches with you can just go ahead and search for this insecticide it is usually sold uh, by you know these local people on the road what are they called hawkers they usually have it at a hundred bob and it really really does a great thing like cockroaches were infused here but i have tried to remove them with that and then this one here is my extra detergent that is omo that is basically it so guys uh, let me just bring you close on this Hope you guys can just see outside there because I'm not sure. So there we have my cleaning detergents. By the way guys, if you want your sink to be like shiny as mine, just just use some scoring powder on your sink. Like I usually use this scoring powder. I use that scoring powder on my sink and you, and you guys, it really gives it that shining. You know, it makes it shine so much more and then that one i use it on my utensils and then that one this one is a multi-surface cleaner this one is a multi-surface cleaner that i use in cleaning my countertops my cooker my everything like and then this one i use it on on dishes and that's it sometimes i use bar soap and some you know 
yeah guys that's how my kitchen is basically and i just love it because it is so so simple i don't entertain too much i don't love owning a lot even i don't know maybe god will bless me one day and then i will start buying a lot but i i'm not a keeper i love 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 giving away so that i don't have so much that i don't use basically that is it you guys let me let me let me let me put in these curtains so that i can show you how my curtains are looking like oh my goodness so guys basically we have those beautiful beautiful curtains that are hanging from top to bottom wow oh my goodness uh so guys i got my curtains from ECE, you guys they costed me 20 2500 kenyan shilling that is 25 dollars is it 25 dollars yeah 25 dollars that is 2500 to customize these curtains i used like shears how many pairs of shears i used like the 300 bob shears and then i just i just explained how i wanted them to be and their sizing and also the window i went to the measurements for the window and also the measurements for the door and they customized the perfect curtains and then on the top or the lower part I added half a meter of black color cutting and then they just customized it and they're looking gorgeous as you can just tell. How are they looking like? You can just comment down if you would love curtains like that. And then on the door, I just like I just made them for this door. They just fit perfectly and I enjoy owning these curtains. They make my how my kitchen look so so more so much beautiful than the way it used to look like Kitambo down here i also have this mat that i use initially i used to have a very very big rug here in my kitchen but because oh no, you know of cleaning the kitchen each now each every time and then i i just changed it to that small mat which one i can i could be i could easily clean it right away if it is if it is dirty but i'll be showing you where i placed it so it's looking that way and the tiles are so good because they are not that cold they are usually warm our tiles here in this house they are usually so warm yeah that's it guys that's it that's it so guys let's go back to this shelf right now so this shelf i diy'd my own shelf i just didn't have extra to buy like the shelf from online because it is usually so so expensive buying shelves you know shelving online so I went to Karyoko market. I just went to guys. Uh, I want to demonstrate how we made over my shelf. So I visited Karyoko market and my aim was to get these two leather straps. These two leather straps, I got four. So they were this one pair and that they were two pairs, which I'll be using this one on my living room. I'll be placing this shelf in my living room. You just make them and then you just customize the size you want like for these leather straps you know so many of you have been requesting how i diy'd my own leather straps so these two leather straps you place them like that you just place them like that and then like this and then you place your piece of wood like to lay inside you nail it here and then you nail it there and that's it basically how I DIY my own shelf. It is very, very simple. At Karyoko, you find this leather with everybody who is there. Just ask where they sell leather straps, leather shoes and everything. You'll find this one. Just go home. You, you tell them to paint for you. They usually dye the leather. It's usually white in color and then they will dye it for you with black color. If you want them in black or if you want them in... Uh, the leather the leather color that one that brown one the brown leather color the one you you will feel like you want the nails i just pinned the pin them down with some nails and basically guys i am done doing this house tour uh my house is a two bedroom house if you want me to do a video of my of a detailed video of my house tour i will be able to do that and if you go ahead and comment down if you want to see how my house is and guys so uh, i just wanted us to have a little bit of chit chat here and there so guys i missed talking to you and first of all i know most people who watch my video um stay at home moms and 
so many of you uh, don't have jobs to do at the moment so many of you like look up to me and I don't know what to say because me I just have nothing <laughs> ah, but you guys I just enjoy you know sharing my life so that you know we can interact and know each other much better and so many of you we've been talking and you guys some of you are feeling like being a stay-at-home mom is like a disease it's not definitely it's not like me i've been i've been staying at home for almost three years and something but before that i was working i had my own business and i was okay with it but since i got pregnant i just decided to leave everything and just sit at home so uh i just take care of myself and my baby and my family to guide so one thing is for sure being a stay-at-home mom is not a disease and it's not permanent on so many people we tend to stay at home for a while and then we just end up going back to work so guys do not be discouraged because so many of you feel like oh my goodness what shall i do what can i do nini, nini. just look for something you can do like sell things online you can decide to visit kamukunji and sell plates cups and everything's online you can just go ahead and visit gikomba sell things order you know just look for some time take your kids to daycare if you are look if you are a stay at home mom and it's just the reason for a baby yeah and if you are fortunate enough you don't need extra coins you can just stay at home and raise your kids and also raise a family that's not something that me usually i'm usually here in the house and most of the times i usually even don't finish what i'm doing because i have a lot to do like feeding the baby looking after him cleaning the house so many things like you know at times somebody can think like i'm just all i'm doing is just sleeping and eating okay it's not true it's not true being a stay-at-home mom it's usually so sometimes it is challenging so don't feel pressured do not be carried away by the instagram photos and then you know you're pressured to look like how your neighbor is looking like you're pressured to look like how your online celebrity is looking like don't be don't be carried away don't feel pressured you guys if your neighbor is undoing her hair and doing it again and again don't feel pressured guys just go ahead and live your life live your life just live your best life even if you just stay with matutas like me i'm just usually so comfortable so long as i'm just okay with it just go ahead and do it don't be pressured just be like me <laughs> <laughs> me i cannot be pressured by the way to be honest me there's nothing like tempts me like seeing my friend wearing this and this it doesn't usually give me pressure because if i want i can still wear them but i'm just okay i'm naturally me and i accept being me and sometimes i have errors but i just trying to balance it all so guys do not feel pressured if you are a stay at home mom for those who have been dming me and feeling like they are so much they are feeling like they are being wasted don't feel wasted you know if it's a baby you are raising you are just taking care of your family you're not just there you're not just there so long as at least you're doing something or you don't have work at the moment and maybe you are looking for work and you just believe in god you will still find that work your dream job you will just find it if if one thing i know for sure is that we are just you know god is still arranging our ways god is still arranging what we can do and god is still working on you god is still working on you even if you are just stuck don't feel stuck because one day one time you will you will time is moving and one thing is for sure you won't be where you were yesterday and guys i don't want to ramble a lot but uh, okay guys first of all i have this youtuber that i've been eyeing so much i love 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 her content her name is real ruth uh please guys kindly kindly that woman she does videos on cleaning cooking organizing all those kinds of good things in her videos and of course of course she has a beautiful home here in nairobi you can go ahead and watch her house tour and you know she's just god she inspires me to own a home here in nairobi and i'm feeling so much good to be having friends like that kindly guys visit real ruth i'll be writing her name down here on the description and also i'll be linking her channel please guys i just as you visit her channel subscribe her and and support her channel even as she is doing motherhood content and also cleaning and organizing and everything you want like you want to feel motivated visit her channel guys let me just say um, bye bye and let me see you on my next video even as i am going to prepare i don't know where this i don't know where my video my next video will be going to because i'll be I'm doing my hair maybe i might be traveling this weekend i don't know i'll just show you what will be happening and guys let me say bye bye see you uh, let me see you on my next video coming very very soon yeah and definitely guys i will show you 
uh, my new self care video that my new self care routine that I've been trying to to just go ahead with and basically guys oh, I think I've talked more than enough let me see you on my next video I love you all and please remember to hit that like button hit that like button hit that do what let me let me repeat hit that like button if you really enjoyed my content if you want to see anything from me from my <laughs> if you want to see anything from me from my body from my words from anything from me just hit that like button subscribe down below you want me to share anything any part of my lifestyle videos here on youtube i will definitely do that because i love 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 sharing my life with you and let me see you another time another day bye bye i love you all and please remember to take care of yourself because if you don't who will take care of you <laughs> oh let me enjoy my water